Hi, this is Eugene Manman Roberts, music director and keyboard player for John Legend, as well as J. Cole, amongst other artists. Um, I represent and I'm from the hometown of Philadelphia, PA. Uh, right now, I'm playing a G8, a X7, a G6, the VR700 combo, uh, the SH1 Gaia, uh, the VK8 module, as well as the VP7. And I have the JB3080 model with the 60s and 70s card for the Yes, The most important keyboard in my rig, I would say it's definitely two at this point. Uh, the G8 is my overall main keyboard, uh, but the VR combo is definitely playing a major part because there's a lot of organ and soulful things going on right now. So with the VR combo, I play a lot of my major organ um, as well as using the uh, or the module as well for a top level organ just to give me a way more powerful tone um, which has a different EQ on it from the VR. The SH1 is hands down my favorite my favorite right now. Until until I really dig into this Jupiter, the SH01 is definitely in my hotel room, every city is set up. But I'll show you that. When I program at home and I do a lot of arrangements and recording, I know exactly what I want to hear. So it depends on the gig and what I need to do. Um, that's why overall, like a lot of people ask me why did I choose Roland for my sound. It's because no matter what, I get the tone and the sound I'm looking for, whether it's a full quarter or organ or amp. Even down to an 1880, a SPDS, V-drums, everything, I know what I need. Like I have a Juno 106. I have a Juno 60, but I have also XP50, I have XP80s, so it depends on what I need. I don't really have, I would say overall, if I had to choose one keyboard to do a game, I would use an X7. I got hooked on key tires like an AX7. I mean, well before that actually, but the AX7 I just kind of fell in love with it to the point where I just saved all my money and bought two. I know I just wanted to. I just to have two. So at that point, it was kind of like, how can I play two? Which is kind of difficult, but I want to figure it out. That's my goal. I want to play two AXs all the time when necessary, if possible. That's the goal. So you're going to get rid of your entire keyboard rig and just play two AXs? Depends on the gig. If I can do it, I will do it. I mean, who wants to be behind a keyboard rig? That's why I like playing for different people, which would challenge me to play different roles. Kanye West, I, would, I was playing more talk box in full quarter, which pushed me to be a totally different musician from playing for like a J. Cole, which is more hip hop, which I'm playing a lot of synth bass, and then John Legend is kind of like well-rounded, you know, if the bass player is sick and this has happened, I have to cover all grounds, bass, run the track, play all the parts, um, and as, as an artist, John expects it to be correct, he wants it to be right regardless. The bass player's not there, he's not gonna say, what are we gonna do? He's gonna say, all right, cool, see you on stage. That's my job to make sure it happens. Right now, I'm using the VP7, which is phenomenal. I love it because it gives me the same exact tone that um, I love out of the VP550. Um, the 770 is also amazing. I love the auto-tune feature and different things inside of that, as well as being able to lay the strings and do layers and bring in different sounds and what you're doing. But right now I'm using the VP7 because it's, it's handheld, it's small, I can travel with it. Uh, we do a lot of flying spot dates. Um, and with those spot dates, I want to have my same sounds no matter where I'm at. And that's my goal, to be able to deliver. And um, with rolling keyboards, no matter what generation, you know you're gonna get the same sound. No matter if it's your personal, Focus on the back of my company, um, and it delivers. Cuts, sounds good, sounds cool. All the products, they 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 pull their own weight in every situation. So if you know you need a great organ, you use the VK, it's gonna work. If you need a vocoder, you use the VP. Whether it's the 550, the 770, any of the vocoders, you can even go back to the old 350. You know what I'm saying? But 
all of those vocoders all sound great and they deliver. If you don't own any rolling gear, you might want to get it. Because by the end of the day, it's nothing that's consistent. A lot of other keyboard companies or just companies in general, they go through this process where they try to make things better and better and better, but it becomes worse because the sound quality becomes thinner or this sound does not sound exactly the same as the sound in the next generation keyboard, it gets thinner. Also, a lot of other companies do this thing where they try to, they cheat themselves out of saying, okay, you know what? We're gonna to try to get this one product to do these three things, but Roland will say, hey, listen, this is meant to do this thing, and that's what we're gonna do. 